Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is game two between me playing my red-green land destruction deck, and I'm playing against my friend Kalik playing his full white deck. This is during the quarterfinals at World Wake Game Day, it's something to do. My opening hand for this game contained a Dragon Broodmother, a Chandra Nalar, a Master of the Wild Hunt, a Goblin Room Blaster, one Raging Ravine, a Mountain, and a Tectonic Edge. Kalik led on the play with an Amiri of the Sky Ruin, and then I set down my Raging Ravine. Kalik then set down a second Sky Ruin and passed it back to me. I simply laid down a mountain on my next turn, and then Kalik played a Core Firewalker. My next turn consisted of a Rootbound Crag, and then Kalik attacked with his Firewalker, dropping me down to 18 life. Then I finally set down my fourth land, which was a Tectonic Edge, and used it to cast and kick a Goblin Rune Blaster and blow up one of Kalik's Sky Ruins. Kalik missed his opportunity to gain life off of the Rune Blaster, then I attacked with him for two damage, dropping Kalik to 18. On his next turn, he cast the Knight of the White Orchid and searched for another plane to put it into play. He then set down his land for turn and then attacked with his Firewalker again, dropping me down to 16. On my next turn, I cast an Acidic Slime and used it to destroy one of Kalik's planes. Then Kalik used a Path to Exile to get rid of his own knight and search for another planes. So I took the opportunity to attack with my Rune Blaster and dropped him down to 16 life. Kalik then cast an Ajani Goldmane and used his minus one ability to pump his core Firewalker to a 3-3. He then attacked with it, which I decided to trade for with my Acidic Slime. I then sent my Ruin Blaster at the Ajani, dropping it down to one loyalty. Then post-combat, I cast a Chandra Nalar and used its plus one ability to target Kalik, which I redirect to the Ajani to kill it. Kalik cast a second Knight of the White Orchid to search for another planes, and then cast another core Firewalker. I started off my next turn by using two loyalty from my Chandra to destroy Kalik's Knight of the White Orchid. Then post-combat, I cast a Goblin Assault and then laid down a Master of the Wild Hunt. On Kalik's next turn, he attacked my Chandra with his core Firewalker, which I decided to trade for with my Master. Then post-combat, he cast a Battle Grace Angel. On my next turn, I got my first Goblin token and then set down a Raging Ravine. I then used my Tectonic Edge to blow up Kalik's Amiri the Sky Ruin. I then shot his Battle Grace Angel for 1 damage with my Chandra and then used a Lightning Bolt to finish it off. Then I finished up by attacking Kalik for 3 with my Goblins, dropping him down to 13 life. On Kalik's next turn, he cast a Bane Slayer Angel. I started off my next turn by using my Chandra to shoot Kalik for 1 damage, dropping him down to 12 life. I then had to attack with all my Goblins. So Kalik decided to block the Rune Blaster and gain himself 5 life, and then he lost 2 from the other goblins for a total of plus 3 life, taking him back up to 15. Then post-combat, I set down a Dragon Broodmother. During Kalik's next upkeep, I got a new Dragon Token, which I used to devour one of my goblins, making it a 3-3 flyer. Then Kalik attacked my Chandra with his Baneslayer Angel, which I could not block with my dragons due to protection. So the angel killed my Chandra. This brought Kalik back up to 20 life. Then post combat, he used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of my Dragon Broodmother. Finally, Kalik cast a Knight of the White Orchid to search for another planes. During my next upkeep, I got another Goblin token. I then animated my Raging Ravine and attacked with the team. Kalik decided to kill one of my tokens with his Knight of the White Orchid and took the other 8 damage, going down to 12 life. For Kalik's next turn, he started off by casting another Battle Grace Angel. He then attacked for 6 damage with his now exalted Bane Slayer Angel, dropping me down to 10 life and taking him back up to 18. I got another Goblin token on my turn and then cast a second Goblin Assault. I then animated my Raging Ravine again and attacked with the Ravine and my two Goblin tokens. Kalik double blocked my Raging Ravine to kill it and took the other two damage from the goblins going down to 16 life. Then Kalik attacked with his Bane Slayer Angel again, dropping me down to 4 life and taking him back up to 22. I then got two more goblin tokens on my next upkeep. However, I didn't have any way to deal with the Bane Slayer Angel next turn, so scooped it up, taking us to game 3.